Yes, I, I, I still need good people in my life. I still have good people in my life. And uh, right now, I need God and my kids. I need myself. I need God and my kids. I repeat, she's a young girl. She's just starting a new life. She's been through a loss. She's going through a loss. Stay off from my daughter. Nobody should call her. Respect yourself. Everybody should face their life. Face your marriage. If you have one, if you don't have one, face it. I repeat, nobody should call me. She just sent me a message. I'm tired of your friends sending me messages, calling me to talk to you. Please, face your kids. Leave my kids alone. Please, leave my kids alone. I don't care how close you are to me. I don't care how close you are to me. Please, leave my kids, leave my daughter. She's a young girl. She's starting a new life. She's, she's, she, she already started. Please, let her be focused. Stop calling my daughter to call me. Please, leave her. Hmm? Anything I'm doing that you don't like, talk to me. Don't call my daughter. Please. She's 21. She's, she's going, she's, she has a lot on her table to deal with. She just got a new job and she needs to face her job. Please don't call my daughter. And another thing again, uh, if Orlando call any one of you, if you are my friend, whether you are my enemy or well, please stay off. Don't come and call me. Orlando just called me now. Orlando just called me. Send him a message. And tell him, is it that you decline his call or you want him not to, uh, not to, or you want him not to call you again or that you're not interested? Stay off. I'm telling you because I don't know what Orlando will be called. I don't know why Orlando will be calling you people and you will stay there for like an hour. You'll stay there for two hours, even 30 minutes. I've never called his for any of his friends since four years. Please, it's simple common sense. Except you just want to, you just want to hear what you you want to hear, or you're looking for what to hear. I repeat, I'm on my own. Hmm? I'm facing my life, and I'm focusing on my brand. I'm focusing on my business. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Please, I repeat. I'm not ashamed of any, I'm not ashamed, I don't have shame oh. when it comes to things like this. I don't have shame. I repeat again, stay off my daughter. If I'm acting up, if I'm misbehaving, call me or you keep your dirty stinking mouth shut. Call me or you keep your mouth shut. Don't call my Temilolua again. That girl is my life. That girl is my eyes. That girl is my life. I don't care how close you are to me. I don't want to fucking know who you are. Don't call my daughter again. Motisaw, you know, me, you I don't care how you see me. It's a face. Hmm? It's a face. I'm going to overcome all this. So if you want to stay true to me, stay true to me. If you want to go, get the fuck out of my life. I mean, see, I'm in the business of losing people. Yes, I'm ready to lose anybody. Enough is enough. Please, that girl is my life. She sent me an emotional message now. Your friends should stay out of my life and leave me. They should stop calling me. Don't call my daughter again. I don't joke with my children. My problem is not my 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 problem shouldn't be my children's problem. The daddy's problem shouldn't be that problem. Please. As I'm facing, I'm hustling. Nobody can come out and say, Arami, they call me to borrow money, me money. Or they are paying my bills. People can give me gifts. It's normal. Nobody is paying my bill. Nobody. Since I got to this Houston, I've ever called anybody. Borrow me money. Please, stay off my daughter. I don't know who you are because I asked her. She didn't tell me. Because she said I, she, I, she knows I'll go and, you know. Please. Why don't you come out with your real page? Please, I'm repeating it again. Please, I'm repeating it again. 
Right now, I need God and my kids. Yeah. Stop calling my daughter to tell her to talk to me. I'm not a child. Respect my emotions. You're not in my shoes. Don't always believe what you see on social media. Uh, and if you don't mind being low-key with your kids too, get them up drama. People need to have sense by force, especially other. If you don't mind being low-key with your kids too, or people need to... Uh, I don't, uh, except I don't understand English clearly. Miss Kilt Gani, and if you don't mind being low key with your kids to get them off the drama, did you see me put my kids on the, uh, on any drama? Are you talking to me or you are referring to people that are running out of Skelta, not minding their business? And if you don't mind being low key with your kids to get them off the drama, what is the drama that I'm putting my kids? I'm not okay when it comes to things like this. Oh. Mm? I'm a very sweet woman. I'm a very good person, but don't play with my emotions. I hope you are not insulting me, Abby. Maybe I don't understand English very well. Maybe... Maybe I don't understand what she's trying to say here. Thank you, Awuwa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awuwa, he was buying jeans without paying bills. And he was buying jeans. He was eating. Thank you, Awuwa. Okay, so the fake ones around me. Thank you. That's why I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a very patient person. Sometimes I'm not patient, I know. That's why I said, let me ask you before talking. Okay, maybe I didn't, you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Ma Moss Beauty. Abby, what's her name? Okay, well, I didn't understand. You didn't, you didn't write this clearly, you know. No, she means your kids eating so people don't have, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Point me, who insults you? <laughs> So that's it. Yeah, everybody should mind their business. I'm not ashamed of anything. <laughs> He's been on for long, you know. So, uh, and you know, I've been quiet. I've been very quiet. I've been, uh, I've been minding my business. I'm trying my best. You know, I've spent so much this week on those kids. So, am I can feel kind corny? Uh huh. So, uh, okay. Please don't call my daughter Pemilulua again. Don't call her. She's a very sensitive girl. She's a very sensitive girl. She's a very, uh, she's a very sensitive girl. And uh, she can't handle stress. Yeah. She has a lot that has gone wrong in the past. She cannot handle stress. Don't call my daughter. Don't call my daughter. If you have, if you see me doing anything that you don't like, call me. Yeah, I've tried. Thank you. I've tried my best. Mind your business. Uh, in this you think, uh, don't always believe everything you see on social media. You know, we are all women. We should be able to support ourselves, whether you are wrong or right. We should be able to support ourselves and lift ourselves up. We shouldn't bring down anybody. You know, we all mis make mistakes in life. And uh, mistakes should not be forever. Mistakes should not be forever. Yeah, I've told her. I've told her that if anybody calls her, she should insult and be rude to them. Yes, uh, anybody can make mistakes in life and... Uh, uh mistakes should not if that is how god if that is how god uh, look at us or judges us or you know many of us would have died or many of us would have our life would have been messed up but uh you know i am a very sweet girl it's a, it's very annoying it's very crazy that uh, a man will go out on social media <laughs> i'm calling your brother who gave you like <laughs> 
Oh, it's so sad that a man will go on social media and call the mother of your kids a mistake. He, he actually broke me. He, you know, this, this is the third time. When he came in to my house, he apologized. And uh, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have sense. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have sense. I don't know, maybe, uh, 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 to be honest, he's depressed. He's a depression man. He's a depressed man. He has depression. That's that's number one. That one needs to be, I tried to manage. I tried to help him when he was here. I tried to help the depression and he was very okay. He's, he's not an happy man. Yes, I tried to do that, you know, to, to help him as well. Uh, he's a broke man, but it's okay. He will come up. God will lift him up. God will bring him back so that, you know, I can't do it alone. I, I would never wish him bad because uh, we have kids together and uh, he must take care of those kids. I can't do it alone. So so that one, we're still, we still prayed for him last time because uh, we prayed for him to have that so that he can take care of his kids. Every other thing, I don't know anything about, but him coming back, getting a job, fixing his life back, uh, we prayed for him so that the kids can, he can, he won't be shy from his responsibility. Oh, that's fine. So once again, once again, I tried my best, you know, I tried my best so well. Sometimes you go appreciate him for what, yeah, my, 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 my kids, especially Timmy, uh, uh, was so, was so mad at me. Timmy was mad at me that why do you keep appreciating him all the time? Why do you post him? He's doing his responsibility. Someone that was not there for three years and he came and he took over, not financially, he took over physically. And uh, you are praising him. Now people will think you are the one that have, have a problem when there's a problem. I said, Timmy, I did that just to have peace. For three years, I didn't have peace. For three years, we went through a lot. So, uh, you know, I'm a public figure. I need to do this live chat, you know. I'm a public figure. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tony Talks. At the bank, I'm going to so I'm going to please, kajo kafi a to say, I'm going to deal with the situation on their own. We should try to support them during this time and help them with uh, their worry that we should remind them that they are loved by both parents instead of saying real obama mess or talk to your parents or talk to your father or talk to your mother we should all avoid blaming and don't share any negative feelings with them there are a lot of ways to make it a bit less painful when talking to children about their parents uh, separation or divorce in general mothers automatically have parental responsibility for their children from birth okay. if both parents have parental responsibility then both are responsible for the child's well-being until he or she reaches adults at the age of 18 and you understand the told you to be 20 something but she wants to be left alone she doesn't want to be in between the parents problem so we should respect that we should try to accept the wishes and feelings of this child divorce and separation is already being had it may take months or even years but with plenty of support most children do come to terms with their parents separation separation and divorce can be extremely traumatic for children so it's already been the records a jack has taken clear Thank you for listening. I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you all. Bye.